SPITS stands for Service Provider Integrated Therapeutical Systems and basically means quickly putting tablets in little bags. We process medication into separately dosed packages for pharmacists. From its start with 300 patients and 4 employees in Appelscha, SPITS has expanded to serve 30,000 patients nowadays and employs almost 100 people in Oosterwolde. In 2013, new facilities were realized, offering another 1,700 square meters to potentially serve 60,000 patients. Every day, SPITS receives assignments from pharmacists. They provide packaging assignments that indicate for every patient which medication is scheduled per dosing time. SPITS takes care to deliver these tablets, targeted to the patients in the so-called Baxter pouches. The process starts when the digital packaging assignments are received at the customer desk. The software, utilized by SPITS and the pharmacists, correspond in order to process the assignments one-on-one -on -one for the Baxter pouches. We make a printout of the assignment to guide the process. After checking, the digital assignment is transferred to the automatic tablet dispenser or pouch packager. The inventory statistics and the reduction of medicine function to automatically control the stock. Employees of the stock control department process the supplies. They take care of unpacking large amounts of medicine. Upon arrival, the manufacturer's batch numbers are checked by two separate employees. Since medicine are delivered in various ways, we transfer all different packages to packages that fit into the fully automated storage of SPITS, the stock robot. Risk medication that cannot be taken out of the original package remains in the strip by the piece. Each package receives a unique label, which can be scanned and recognized at any time. Before the bulk packages enter the stock, another employee checks the contents and the batch numbers again. Afterwards, the packages are sealed. The stock robot handles both boxes and jars. It scans every item which is then directed to one of the many thousand slots in the system. In this way, the robot is able to efficiently store large amounts of hundreds of different kinds of medicine. In doing so, the robot takes into account the expiry date of the medication. In the meantime, the automatic tablet dispenser processes the packaging assignments into the pouches. The pouches are filled from cassettes containing 520 different kinds of medicine. If a cassette needs to be refilled, the dispensing machine signals this and clearly indicates which medicine is required. The employee needs to identify him or herself prior to refilling the stock. The dispensing machines are connected to the stock robot. In this way, the robot can precisely identify which medicine needs to be refilled. The robot delivers the medication, the employee checks the label and then refills the cassette. Before replacing it, the employee scans its position, the label and the cassette itself. As an extra check, he enters the expiry date of the medicine. After finishing all these checks, the employee replaces the cassette into the dispensing machine. Rare medicine are on a separate list and are manually brought into the packaging process by the sorting department. An employee checks the medication with the assignment printout and applies a batch control sticker from the stock supply. When they match, the tablets are put into numbered holes of a tray. After an employee has filled the tray, another one double-checks if all the holes are filled with the right medication according to the list. When the tray is approved, its contents enter into the dispensing machine and the packaging process. After dispensing, the pouch rolls are collected together with the corresponding packaging assignment lists and transferred to the checking department. The pouch checking machine is an indispensable part of the control process. Spitz Oosterwolde was involved in the early development of this pouch checking technology and is heavily involved in refining the machines that today are used worldwide. The pouch checking machine takes a photograph of every separate pouch which the system's computer analyzes to check if the pouch contains the right tablets. 
the computer identifies and recognizes each tablet that is present in Spitz's assortment. The large pouch rolls are then divided into smaller ones, manageable for the user. The controllers keep an eye on the analysis of the checking machine. Alternating in short shifts, the controllers check the photograph of each pouch that was identified as suspect by the computer. Afterwards, they send a checking report to the printer located at the correction department. The pouch rolls requiring correction are selected from the batches and are separated to fix the pouches. Using the checking report, the employees of the correction department are able to trace the pouches and fix their contents. They check whether the medicine fits the description on the label of the pouch and the list and seal the pouch with special tape. Then another employee again checks if the description on the pouch matches the label on the medicine container and the appearance of the tablet. After correction, the crate containing the batch is released and transferred to the expedition department. The expedition department sorts the rolls according to their specific allocation and prepares the crate for transport. The employees take into account specific packaging wishes that were expressed by the customer. Finally, Spitz checks the number of rolls in the crates, which are then visibly sealed and ready for transport. On a daily base, Spitz uses this process of check after check to produce thousands of separately dosed medicine pouches to reliably provide both pharmacists and patients with properly dosed medicine. Spitz, your quality is our priority. Thank you.